It's not right. Not right. It hurts. Treaks. You're the one saying it hurts. What do you think of me? <laughs> Jeff is out again. This time I can't really get him back up again. <laughs> Come on, someone. Please help us. <laughs> please give us strength. Paula and her friends' skulls touched the heart of Dreeks. Dreeks prayed for the kids, having never even met them before. Wait. Dreeks? The actual player Dreeks? Me? <laughs> kept praying. 7000 HP of damage. Dreeks kept praying. 11,000 damage. Dreeks kept praying. 25,000. <laughs> All the way at the end. Breaking the fourth border. Even the player, that is me, <laughs> gives the player strength. Dreeks, now I... Well... It's going to seem like I'm running away. But uh, perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So, now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Well, not you. Because you chose Geiger's side. And it looks like in this very weird looking epileptic screen... Gygus is dying. He's turning into static. And nothing more. The universe's greatest threat. This is how it looks when he dies. One of the most trippiest boss fights ever in a video game. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been the last song of Gygus. Hey, it's our house. Oh, but only briefly, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, and here we are, after the fight. The war against Gygus is over. But it looks like our life is also over. Our robot bodies have been shattered. And are no longer functioning. Is this the end of Nes and his friends? Or maybe not. It looks like our essence, our spirit, that was actually transferred into the robots. It seems like they are leaving the robot bodies again. The broken robot bodies will stay here in the cave of the past forever. But we will still return to our own bodies, don't worry. <laughs> They're lying around here lifelessly now. But here... Our essence returns. For our heroes, this will still be a happy end. Pooh returns back to life. Our own little scientific genius, Jeff, back up on his feet. The only girl in our party, and magical genius, Paula. And Ness, going by the name of Trix <laughs> during this Let's Play. He also returns to his feet. Our heroes are still alive. <laughs> our travels together end here. I must return to the Lam and... Use this experience for the good of my country. Trix, Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. PSI, farewell. <laughs> now. 
I'll see you again someday. Whoosh! I'm pretty sure it was just PK teleport. <laughs> and he leaves a couple of presents behind. Oh, awesome. Jeff? Paula? Treeks? It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I've been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If... Just... Maybe... Well, if you do get hitched someday... <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeff, you're not that kind of guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll be the one that actually fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Do Dr. Endernuts. I mean, from my dad. So, it looks like this is a goodbye for now, my friends. Ah, oh, Jeff and his father are finally back together. And they are going to work with the one thing they share. Science. Trix, will you escort me home? Of course, I'll be your chaperone. <laughs> Let's not uh, go with that too far. Let's not uh, take Jeff's words too seriously for now. <laughs> We're still a little bit too young for that. I'll miss all of you, but I have to get back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Our party is back to two. And the final couple of presents in this game, we can open up a letter from Tony. Second present. Let's go see what we have. A letter from Mom. Ooh, interesting. And present number three is a letter from the kids. Three interesting letters. Let's see what they have to say. First, let's go see what our mom has to say. Dear Treeks, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. <laughs> also, we don't seem to eat pasta as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? <laughs> well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details. So hurry home, okay? Tracy, King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Ah, oh, interesting. Next letter. You have a letter from the kids. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fine too. So are me. Uh, these kids still need to learn some English, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Grammar's not really correct here, I think. <laughs> me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents, if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. Where apparently learning English is not an important thing. <laughs> Let's go to Tony's letter. Dear Jeff, everything is really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure. Even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here, waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Oh yeah, Jeff is not in our party anymore. <laughs> uh, Jeff, I have something for you. <laughs> And I swear I didn't read it. <laughs> ah, Trix, you've read it already. That Tony is a heart of gold. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, that was it for the presents. All we need to do is bring Paula back home. And remember, she lives in Tucson. <laughs> One last trip out of Saturn Valley. Back to Eagle Land where our journey began. Where we actually met up with Paula. And now that the adventure is over. She needs to return home. 
interesting how the overworld is still active after beating the final boss. You can actually explore the entire overworld if you want to. Now that there are no enemies anymore, it's actually a lot easier to do so. <laughs> There's nothing really to see, so... Trix, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. And there goes Paula. And with that, our party has been reduced to how it once began. Only one. <laughs> Thank you for the great times together, Paula. I hope you have a happy, normal life again. And that reminds me... Ness also needs to return home. The last thing we need to do in this game... ...is bring the final kid home. Ness himself. Won it, here I come! Like I said, I'm not going to explore the overworld... ...while the final boss is defeated. Officially you can. But there's nothing really you can find. But if you'd like to do that, you're welcome to do so. It's pretty interesting actually uh, being able to run around everywhere without having to worry about battles. With Gygus definitively taken out, no enemies run around in the overworld anymore. We'll be returning home, rich boy. <laughs> but returning home we will. The overworld has been cleaned out. It's time for us to return to our normal life as well. Let's call our dad as well. We have not um, spoken to him a lot during the let's play. <laughs> to get to the next level. <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. <laughs> next week will be your birthday, Treeks. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely. But I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more... Mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry I did not save the game as much with you. <laughs> but now, Mom. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories. But I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all, your chats with the people you have met on your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man has actually brought an album by. And I'd like to look at it with you. Ooh, a photo album. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to? Yes. The game is over. Okay. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. And you did so well. Ladies and gentlemen... This has been Earthbound. The game is with this dialogue officially completed. Get a little dance from all of the characters <laughs> in our family. And the world has been saved. Nash has returned home. And the one collectible we had in this game, the photo opportunities, are actually what is going to be shown off right now at the epilogue of this game. But first, we actually find out there's also a cast of characters. <laughs> Every person we have met, all of the annoying people, all of the helpful people, <laughs> all get shown off in this cast of characters. And for me, a perfect opportunity to close off the project. It has been a pretty long one, especially compared to the first Earthbound game, but this has been Earthbound. And I hope you can see why I actually talked about in the very first episode why I actually have a love-hate relationship with this game. This game has its awesome moments. The gameplay, the battle system, those things are amazing in this game. However, there's also a couple of things about this game that I don't really appreciate, even up to this day. I can understand this is not the most understandable game for most people. It's pretty clear that uh, Shigesato Itoi does have his um, own weird little imagination. <laughs> and it's not always easy for him to actually... Um, depict that in this game and the story of this game and the fact that it needed to be translated into western standards was also not always easy but they did do it in a very good way i feel so i can definitely still appreciate the game but i would be lying if i actually said i appreciate this game more than the first one 
even though I did play this one first, because for the longest time this was the only game in the Mother series that actually released in the West. <laughs> so I played the first one a lot later. But that one I actually like a lot more. For some reason it actually puts the atmosphere of an alien invasion and trying to save the world a lot better than this one did, I feel. But I also realize this game does have a big fan base. There's a lot of people who actually really love this game. I can also kind of see why that's the case. There's a lot of weird things in this game. So weird, in fact, that it actually helps with the humor of this game. The Japanese humor that is um, very present in this game. There's a lot of references to side culture, both from Western and Eastern culture. So if you're a very uh, cultural appreciative guy, then I can also understand why you actually feel attracted to a game like this. But this has been my attempt to try to cover Earthbound. <laughs> Gameplay-wise, pretty successful, but in all honesty, the game is also not really that hard. If you compare it to Earthbound Beginnings in that sense, this game is balanced a lot better, I feel, that much I can give to this game. Unlike Earthbound Beginnings, I feel the battle system has way more balance in this game. And because of its longer length, and therefore being able to level up a lot more and learning more magic, I think the battle system also comes out better in this game. But story and uh, character-wise, I can't really agree on this game. That I feel the first game did do a little bit better. And also the general atmosphere was handled a little bit better in the first game. But this game definitely also has its strong suits. That said, I've been talking about Mother 1 and 2 quite often. But there is also a Mother 3. And if I ever get to let's play that game, that is kind of a question I can't really answer right now. Officially the game never released in the West. Not even later, like Mother 1 did. But they might still release it later, so I can't really say that I don't own the game right now. In the future, that might change. <laughs> but for now, I must admit, Mother 3 is not in my possession, and therefore I'm not officially able to cover it. But that is a story for later. Let's talk about Mother 2 first. <laughs> Here we can actually find all of the photo opportunities. We did not meet this guy all over the world for nothing. All of the photo locations you have found during your adventure are going to get shown off right here. Which can therefore also be used as a memoir of our adventure. Let's go down this nostalgia trip together.
and the player was streaks. <laughs> the whole reason why the game actually prompted you twice in order to input your actual name as the player, both for the Gigas fight, the final prayer coming from you, and also to show off right here at the end, we were the ones to play this. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I sure as hell enjoyed playing it, even though at first I had a tough time actually getting into this game, to be honest. I did a good job hiding it in the Let's Play, I feel. <laughs> But eventually I got into the swing of things and this game has been cleared. And the moment the adventure is over, you will find out we are back at the beginning. Things are going bunk during the night again. <laughs> oh, interesting. We're being called because of playing too long, apparently. <laughs> Just getting started with the game and already getting a phone call from Dad. Hey, you've been playing for too long. <laughs> for the first time, I'm going to agree with you, Dad. I'm done playing. The game has been cleared a couple of minutes ago, so even though we're back at the beginning again, <laughs> we are not going to care. However, as you can see, this is interesting, you do keep all of your stats around while beginning the game again. For that reason alone, it might be interesting to play the game again, you might say. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for watching this JRPG project. I have more planned, of course, not in the Mother series for now, maybe later. Mother 3 I do not own officially, so it's not an option to play. But I do have other games that fall under the JRPG genre. Let's talk about Pokemon Silver version. Let's talk about Paper Mario, for instance. And that is something you can look forward to, to this genre. But Mother or Earthbound, this has been it. People, I'm going to say farewell to you for now in this project. The game has released on NSO. And therefore is playable on Nintendo Switch. Try it out yourself. And I will say right here. Thank you for watching and treaks out.